this afternoon, uh, shortly after 10 30, around 11 uh, 10 45. We had a report of a possible bank robbery go out at the uh, Fort McClellan Credit Union. Um, <clears throat> we did have a vehicle description, and uh, the guy was not wearing a mask or anything, so we did have a description of the suspect. We also had a direction of travel. Uh, communica communication went real well today. As soon as this call went out, I heard Oxford on the radio, I heard Deputy Sheriff's on the radio, I heard my guys on the radio at Aston PD. Just a few minutes later, we had the, pretty much the entire area saturated. Um, and it was just a few minutes that, uh, after that. Um, two marshals, uh, one of them works for Leah, one of them works for the Gallup County Sheriff's Office, they're on the um, Gulf Coast Regional uh, Task Force team, spotted the vehicle just a uh, block or two from where we're standing right now. And it was the vehicle. Uh, made a stop, made contact with the owner of that vehicle or the person that was driving it. Um, our initial report was the person that was the potential robber at the bank was a passenger in this vehicle. So um, it didn't take long, just a few minutes for us to be led to the residence here where we're at. I think it's 1004 West 16th. Um, the suspect was barricaded. Um, we quickly surrounded the area. I want to give a big thanks to the Captain County Sheriff's Office, um, State Troopers, Aaliyah, uh, my guys. Uh, we had a lot of a lot of guys here, some of the guys I didn't recognize, which I uh, appreciate everything that they did. We're able to contain the situation. We could hear the guy inside the house. He would not come out. We couldn't make contact with him by any phones. We tried everything as possible. You know, he didn't have a cell phone. Uh, there was no landline in this house. So we tried uh, to set up an external communication by the first by means of a state trip from car, which uh, that was the only thing we had at the time. And we backed that part of there as soon as we could. We put a hailer out front. We continuously tried to make contact with the suspect. We were not able to establish a great communication with him. However, we could hear him um, saying some things. We had some guys positioned on the back side of the house that were actually in a pretty dangerous situation. Those guys were um, on the major crimes unit in our here in Calhoun County. Um, they could hear where he was at and kept us informed of where he was at inside this house. Um, we developed more information along the investigative process. We were pretty certain that we had the guy looking for that was a big concern on the front end not sure if he has some type of mental issues or the substance abuse issues or what fights going on but there's there's something here with the suspect um, we attempted for at least an hour and a half to try to get him to come out and get himself up so that we wouldn't harm him nobody would get hurt today he refused to do that and at that point we started introducing gas into the house uh, to try to force him to come out after we introduced multiple volleys of of gas, CS, uh, CS gas. Um, we could hear him in there. He was getting more, more violent. He was getting more active. We could tell he was moving furniture around, throwing couches around, and we found that to be true. That's why he eventually went in. We wound up doing a tactical entry on the front of the house. Um, I appreciate all my guys. They, they did a great job. Nobody got hurt. No shots were fired. We were able to uh, break the front door open all the furniture. As soon as we made entry, he started throwing items of furniture and things at us and wound up barricading himself in a back bathroom in the back um, southeast corner of this house where we eventually were able to force entry. We did use a taser um, once we got the door open and we were able to successfully get going out there without any major harm. And our first, uh, anytime something like this happens, you know, our first priority is medical. So we removed him from the gas. He was having a hard time breathing. He was breathing. Paramedic, which we had stationed here close by. We also have a paramedic on our team. Kevin Delaney does a great job for us. They were able to come up and do a quick triage on him, um, check his heart rate and everything, go ahead and start oxygen. And we felt the best thing to do, which I made the call, just go ahead and have him transported. So I sent a couple of officers with him up to the hospital just to have him transported. That's pretty much all I know right now. I don't have his name at this point. I have a possible first name of Mike, and I don't even know that that's 100% accurate. He is not communicating with us at this point. I feel like he will at some point. Um, but that's pretty much all I have right now. And the scene totally secure. The scene is totally secure. Now it's just all the cleanup, which will take a while. Uh, we're going through the process now of getting search warrants, which uh, we were told that the owner of this house is actually going to give us consent. So our investigations is working on that, and we'll be here for quite a while longer.